The given integral i can be expressed as integral dx upon 1 minus cos x upon sin x. This is equal to integral sin x dx divided by sin x minus cos x. Now note that the derivative of the denominator of the integrand sin x minus cos x is equal to cos x plus sin x. Now let us try to express the numerator of the integrand sin x as a combination of the derivative of the denominator and the denominator itself. And we'll see in a few steps why this is useful. Therefore, the integrand can be written as a times sin x plus cos x plus b times sin x minus cos x divided by sin x minus cos x. The numerator of the right hand side can be written as a plus b times sin x plus a minus b times cos x. The numerator on the left hand side can be written as 1 times sin x plus 0 times cos x this divided by sin x minus cos x is equal to the right hand side which is a plus b times sin x plus a minus b times cos x divided by sin x minus cos x. The denominator is the same therefore equating the numerator we get a plus b is equal to 1 and a minus b is equal to 0. Solving these two equations we get a is equal to b is equal to half. Therefore, the integrand sin x upon sin x minus cos x can be written as half of sin x plus cos x plus half of sin x minus cos x divided by sin x minus cos x. Therefore, the integral i can be broken into two components. The first component is half of integral of sin x plus cos x upon sin x minus cos x dx. And the second component is half of integral of sin x minus cos x divided by sin x minus cos x dx. Sin x minus cos x cancels across the numerator and denominator in the second integral. Therefore, i is equal to x upon 2 plus half of integral of sin x plus cos x divided by sin x minus cos x dx. Now, let sin x minus cos x be equal to t. Taking the derivative of both sides, we get cos x plus sin x times dx is equal to dt. Substituting this, we get the value of i is equal to x upon 2 plus half of integral dt upon t, which is equal to x upon 2 plus half of ln of t plus the constant of integration. Substituting the value of t, i is equal to x upon 2 plus half of ln of sin x minus cos x plus the constant of integration, which is the required answer.